Today, in the wood yard, the white death is upon us. We gotta get rid of it. Coming up right now. Snow happened. Don't like it. Gotta get rid of it now. Don't like it. Gotta get rid of it. Did I mention that I don't like it? Yeah, we got some snow last night. Uh, we got like, I don't know, four, five inches, something like that. And now I have to spend half a day getting rid of snow. So unproductive. I know those of you that have snow removal businesses or ski or something, or if you're a little kid in school, you might like it. I don't like it. Because now, all the wood that I just ordered, this load and the load that's down over that way, all has snow on it. All my wood has got snow on top of it to sell, so I have to clean all that off. Plus, I gotta spend a few hours now cleaning out my business parking lot and then snow blowing this whole area back here in the wood yard so I can get at the wood and make sure that the snow doesn't just keep piling up. It seems like such a waste of time, but that's what we're gonna do, so here we go.
Well, I just finished snow blowing my whole business parking lot. So I have to do like, you know, out front here to the apron and all the parking that you see back here. And then I have to do this part over here. I've got, I think 24 parking stalls or something like that between all the sides. So I have to snow blow everything that direction. And then I did the whole wood yard where I need to be able to drive around, which is uh, almost as big as my parking lot. It's just that it's not paved, so it's a little harder to snow blow. Um, so anyway, there, I got it all done. I got done all the way over to there and then all the way around the loop, all the way through here. So now I can actually do some work and uh, start cutting on wood or stacking wood or splitting wood or all the above. So my uh, snow removal always takes me with about four or five inches of snow, which is what we had, always takes me to do everything about two hours. And that took two hours and 10 minutes to do everything. Um, for those of you that think I should be plowing, I used to have it plowed. And I've talked about this before. Last year, I talked about why I snow blow and, uh, and uh, the money that I've saved by doing it myself. I used to pay just for my parking lot $110 or something like that. Um, I had it done for, I don't know, probably like five or six years when we first built our building and had our parking lot. And uh, the guy that was plowing it quit doing it and referred me to someone else and that guy wanted to charge 120 So I started looking around for options. I checked into getting a plow, checked into uh, getting a snowblower and what it was gonna cost. I checked a couple other plow services. And to get it done was gonna cost me for a year, I do about 20 snow removals a year. That's about the average, 20. Sometimes it's 24, sometimes it's 18, but it's about 20 a year. And at $120 per snow plowing, you know, it's over a couple thousand dollars. My snowmobile, snow, snow blower was like 1,300 bucks. And so it was paid for well within the first year. I think that first year I snow blowed like 26 times. So I've been doing that now for like 24 years. I've been snow, not 24, about 14 years I've been snow blowing the whole thing. And so I've saved myself tens of thousands of dollars that I would have paid. And because I can do my parking lot alone in about an hour, 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes, something like that. And if it was gonna cost me $120, that's how much I'm making per hour by doing it myself. Are saving so that's why i do it and then i snow blow all this too the other reason i like to snow blow is that when you do a snow blowing the uh, auger you know churns the snow breaks down the crystals so you don't end up with big banks everywhere that you gotta you know dig out and haul away it just turns it all up breaks it down so it doesn't take up very much space um, i am thinking about possibly getting a tractor soon and then I could either plow or I'd get a snow blower attachment for that. So anyway, I have to snow blow around all this. And usually I, I blow the snow, you know, away from where the wood is so that I can get at it. Like you see here, I, I blowed some of this over the top of the piles here. I, I blew this whole section here so it goes up and over the wood so I can still get at it. And uh, all through here. So now this will freeze nice and hard here. And uh, which it's already froze, but the ground will just get harder. And I can get at all the wood. I can drive all the way around through to the other side, all the way around, around the whole loop over there. So I think that's it for the snow blowing episode for today. And uh, so I think I'm gonna say goodbye. So hit the like, subscribe button. That'd be great if you did. And uh, you'll see me doing some work again tomorrow right here in the wood yard. So you need to get outside, do some work and get cutting, especially if you get in the woods. Get out there and get cutting. See you later.